Living in pain? Plagued by sickness? Haunted by your own looming mortality? Not anymore. Now there's Icaret, a technological miracle that lets us transfer consciousness from one body to another. That's right, humanity's wildest dream has been fulfilled. The dream of immortality. Now when sickness or old age starts dragging you down, you can bid on a brand new body at your local government auction house. Give yourself and your loved ones a new lease on life. And don't forget, the body subscription service is mandatory for all citizens 21 and older. So protect your investment. Always avoid illicit substances. Never skip any mandated shell inspections. And prioritize your well-being physical, psychological, and especially financial. Any lapse subscription payments will result in your body being submitted to a bailiff auction. And remember, any and all violations will be prosecuted by the Department of Mortality. Don't you already know who the murderer is? That's not the point. And at least tell me what's going on. Okay, this is the best part where he's questioning the suspect. And when are you gonna question me? You want me to question you? Don't you want to? <laughs> Should I handcuff you? We always uh, handcuff suspects. I think you'd better. Sounds dangerous. I'm always dangerous. Too bad you didn't warn me before we got married. Would that have changed your mind? What if it had? Where do you think we'd be now? I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I wouldn't have. Huh? Prohibition violation at intersection of... Breaking news. The president today signed into law a controversial bill reducing the age limit for free body subscriptions, despite earlier promises to the contrary. Fucking politics. Ready to get back in the saddle, Chief. I uh, sent you the papers. Oh, I know. I'm looking at them. You hear this? Fuck! What are you... Don't tear them up! Fuck! The accident was barely two weeks ago. Look, the committee already thought you were a hot mess. Trying to come back 
this soon. That's just got him convinced. You're no fucking medical miracle, James. Chief, we've been busting our humps in the same department for half a century. You know I know this fucking job like nobody else. And you know I've got your back, too. Come on, Chief. You gotta let me come back. My hands are tied. Officially. Yeah? So unofficially, I'm all ears. Political case. Discreet. I'm listening. You'd be doing a favor for a guy whose signature trumps every test and commission out there. Why do I feel like there's a butt coming? Because you're fucking difficult. Also, without your sync tests, can't get you back in the system. So, I'm gonna put you with a liaison officer. She'll be the one with full access. A babysitter? Fucking hell. You asked for it, Sunshine. Wait, I'll put her on. <clears throat> what the... if you could drown. But of course, drowning is forbidden. Blocked like any other exit from paradise. Kara? James? Kara? No, fuck that. No way. Forget it, Chief. You're already on the line. James. Sarah Cott. Sarah. James Carr. Let me go pull some strings. Back it up. Fuck that. No way. Forget it, Chief. Look, I said what I said. You're a goddamn departmental legend. Legend? Uh, well, okay. More like cautionary tale. Especially after you fucked up half the city with that train. The case is closed. We're unlucky. That's it. Of course. Guys like you get away with bloody murder. Guys like me? What's that supposed to be? As if you don't know. As if your MLB career makes no difference at all. Hey, I've carried a fucking badge for this city since before your parents were born. Okay, I'm back. You two are best friends now, right? Sarah, I've sent you all the authorizations. Forward the package to Karen. James, no need for brag. You know what they say. Show, don't tell. Steiner out. All right, let's get the show on the road. I need the address of the nearest post office. Fine. That girl in the hat overshadows more and more of the city, doesn't she? Sorry. Well, the one from the body auction ad? I haven't seen it. How could you not see it? It's on every goddamn corner. Looks like TS-45-7. You're in Times Square? This is the last place they play good old-fashioned crime stories. <laughs> yeah? You like watching how the cops used to do it? Detectives, not cops. Big difference. I'll take your word for it. Okay, movie buff. Go for the package. Platform 53D, Terminal 3.
in the home stretch for a fat promotion. I've been working my ass off, so I can't afford any mistakes right now. And, you know, you're sort of notorious for unconventional methods. Me? Oh, come on. Everybody knows you don't give two greasy rat shits about regulations. The only thing I ask is that we act professionally, okay? I'm willing to give it a shot. No promises. Great. Better than nothing, I guess. That's the spirit. Sarah, you know why the cops got called to the baseball game? Because somebody stole second base. Oh, for fuck's sake, James. Dad jokes? <laughs> mug with anybody else. Okay, Green, Edward. Oh, shit. Sarah? You okay? Shit. Shit! Oh, I'm reading up on Green. Holy fuck, you know who this guy is? Relax. This will be a routine job. Routine my ass. What are we supposed to do? We get in, pull the Icarite, and deliver it to the Consciousness Transmission Center. No sweat. You're telling me the Covenant Chief, the guy who used to be the Secretary of Health, his Icarites just lying around in a dead body? Fucking hell! Why isn't this going through official channels? There have been a scandal. Keep his name out of the mud. You know what could happen if the Icarite of a guy like Green fell into the wrong hands? Yeah, the future. 
fewer people know about it, the better. The atmosphere's tense because of this bill to reduce free body subscriptions. Exactly. Look on the bright side. I'm betting Green's gratitude hits the gas on the dream of motion of yours. Where's his body? Fifth Avenue, top floor. Looks like it's Green's own apartment. You'll get a chance to see the wannabe Olympus with your own eyes. Want to tag along? Uh, no. I'm not authorized for field work. You don't leave the house much, do you? What? What kind of question is that? I'm just connecting dots. You haven't seen the ad that is literally everywhere. And you don't want to come with me. I already told you. That's because it's against the rules. And stop detective baiting me, or whatever the hell you call it. Sure. You're right. Not my business. We'll respect your space. Um, thanks. I appreciate it. All right. I'm all up to speed. Then let's get on with it. Attention. Documentation will be automatically destroyed. James, I, um, I know you're not reinstated yet, but have you recovered from the accident? Like... Mentally, I mean. Thanks for the concern. But I've never felt better. I'll ping you when I get there. Car out. This job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester like rust laced wounds. I was off to hang out with high society, of which I always had a low opinion. Maybe because it consisted mostly of low people. At this altitude, the air was so clean that without a smoke, I was beginning to suffocate. hanging from the last cherry tree. What do you mean the last? Like, last last? Mm-hmm. Let's pull the echo right and get out of here. Damn. He really got cooked, didn't he? Well, I'm still gonna need a photo for identification. I mean, it could be him. Could doesn't cut it. We have to be sure. Mm. This is guesswork, James. I won't identify him. Not officially. I have an idea. And you won't like it. This is a federal case, James. And we're supposed to pull Green's Icarite, not someone's. Moving on to reconstruction.
you've seen this. What? Some kind of anomaly. Who cares? It's green. Pull a Zikarite and let's go. Melted. So? That's his insurer's problem. Come on, let's go. Sarah, he's dead. What? Like, you mean final death? Dead? Well, just... I, I mean, fix it. Just reconstruct it or something. Just Look, Sarah, I've seen this before. It's not some random glitch. The thing's been oxidized, understand? Somebody wanted to make damn sure Green wasn't coming back. Oh, I am in deep, deep shit. Look, he's hanging from a fucking tree. What someone? Why is the tree burnt? James, this is crazy. If something goes wrong, you're hung out to dry. At least we have a theory of the crime. Omega code 112358, suspected murder. The right side of the body is more heavily charred. The tree must have exploded after he'd been hanged. James. Stop doing this. It wasn't just a fire. Find the cause and we're out of here. Fuck. Shit you picked up, you're going to 
write a clean report about a tragic accident. Got me? Uh, you pronounced murder wrong. I'm not asking. Tell him. End of story. Uh, can I can I get it on the record that I strongly advised against this course of action? I should have known better. I should have known you couldn't handle it. It's just an incorrect pull, I thought. Surely Kara can't buck up something that simple. I'm trying to tell you, there's no incorrect pull. Green's got oxidized. It's a homicide. And it's staring us in the face, like it or not. I can look into this and it's not our case. Write it up as a suicide. Oh, it's a suicide. I thought it was an accident. You can call it a motherfucking ascension for all I can. Just get it off our books. The longer I sit here, the more it all stinks. It's not just Green's rotting corpse. That's what caused the explosion. It's getting more and more obvious why nobody wants to work with you. I'll look for any pre-explosion traces, then we're out of here. James, I wasn't born yesterday. You said that before, and I don't believe you. Someone tried to smash that glass before the explosion. Cracked it and left a handprint. Stop it. James, you've got to stop this. What? What's he doing? Oh, you're finally paying attention. Great. So, now the question is, did Green try to crack open that plate with his own forehead, or did somebody else use Green's forehead like a ball-peen hammer? Why can't we see the killer in the reconstruction? He covered his tracks. Pretty damn skillfully. So someone was here. Fucking hell. What? You gonna tattle to the chief again? Would you just let that drop already? What's done is done. No point in picking at it. Wait, wait, wait. We're not going to work like this. There's gotta be at least a baseline of trust here. Yeah, well, that's all well and good, except we're running out of time to figure out how the tree got set on fire. So, come on. Chop chop. Shit. What happened? The fuse is just blue. What? Why? The reconstructor needs massive amounts of energy. Sometimes the limiter doesn't adjust to the environment and pop. Blown fuses. Chief would have to say about that. Don't thank me, and for fuck's sake, get a move on. Someone not only flooded the transformer, but also ripped out the cables. You don't say, detective. Okay, this is some kind of emblem? It's starting to get interesting. Someone carved this date long ago. What in the world is that supposed to mean? Got some symbology going here. Snake, lizard, circle. Hmm. I've never been good at philanthropology and beliefs and shit. So how'd you catch serial killers? I knew an expert. Great. Then make a call. We need all the help we can get. Can't. She's dead. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, James, I'm... I'm sorry. Let's keep looking.
probably some kind of relic. to Green's blood type. He was fighting with someone. Or he cut himself as he jumped. Maybe. He learned fast. He fell from there. If he cut himself on the railing, there should be blood on it. Horses? No, Pegasi. Um, Sarah, that's a horse. Pegasi are mythical creatures. <laughs> Some paleontologist you are. These days, horses are mythical too? No, mythical animals are fictional. They never existed. Whereas horses are extinct, like dinosaurs. <laughs> of course. Thanks for the lecture, Professor. Hey, you asked for it. James, end of topic. Let's move on. Someone must have pushed him. No trace of blood on the railing. So he didn't cut himself here. This is weird. Green's fingerprints are on the railing. So he was leaning against it? Looks that way. They came from this side. They? Half of the reconstruction is inconsistent. Someone must have been messing with it. We don't have enough information to find the other one. How do you think this went down? after the fight and did whatever the perpetrator told him to. I'm thinking he put the rope around his own neck and then destroyed his own Icarite. Well, in any case, Green didn't jump. Someone pushed him. Do you have a UV lamp? I don't leave home without it. Trace of blood. Hit it with the UV lamp. Well, look at that. The tracks connect. What he got? 
I do. And it still wasn't enough. Shit. Sounds like you hated his guts. Oh, please. He's got something on his clothes. Some kind of chemical? Huh. The reconstructor's coming up goose eggs on its composition. Must be rare as shit, then. It stretches across the floor. I'll switch to UV. The tracks lead this way. Looks like Green is rummaging around the Transformer? Cables are torn out. Same as the one around Green's neck. You think he did it? I think someone made him do it. Oh shit. What a fucking mess. You know what I think? I think it all looks exactly the way the perpetrator wanted it to. Seriously? You're repeating yourself. There's something here. James? <clears throat> I've lost visual. to know. Whatever. The feds are on their way there, so consider this a heads up. If they find you, I don't fucking know you. Are you... you're serious? We've been friends for fucking decades and you're gonna hang me out to dry? How's the situation? They're coming. Time to clean up. Sarah, if we're gonna keep working together, you're gonna have to promise me something. What? Never do anything behind my back again. Are you fucking kidding me? Are we gonna pinky swear? Should I let you know every time I change a fucking tampon? James, the feds are coming. So grow a pair and please, with a fucking cherry on top, clean up this mess. Whoa. Yes. Now, come on, move before they bust us. Time to go back to the underworld he cast us all into.